Hello everyone and welcome to a video. Today we'll be talking about some reverse Rubik's Cube methods. Stick around to the end to learn these methods and maybe they're useful, who knows? They're probably terrible, let's get into it. All right, so we all know the classic CFOP method, right? Cross, F2L, OLL, PLL, right? So the reverse of that should be PLL, OLL, F2L, cross. It makes more sense to do it in this order. OLL, PLL, F2L, cross, or OPFC method. I'm just gonna call it OPFC, <laughs> just so I can avoid saying that. So if you normally start with white cross, you're going to solve yellow OLL. So we actually have this block here. So the first step is to just get all the yellow to the yellow side. Doesn't matter what orientation or permutation, literally doesn't matter. So I see this, so I'm gonna attach that there. We have all that plus this piece. So we just need two more pieces, these two pieces. So I'm gonna like do an E2, match those yellows. So we just need to put that with that. So I'm gonna go like that. And now we have all the yells on one side, but we do have parity. We have um, edge parity right now. Yeah. So there's an algorithm that flips like these two edges. I'll put that right there. So if you flip these two, you'll no longer have um, the parity. So that, that should be good. And then you got like your OLL and PLL, but there's also PLL parity, so that's like M2, D2, M2. And then, what is this? This is JPRIM. So you start with OLL and PLL, and you can get parity for both types. It's awesome. One thing I didn't get in that example solve was corner parity. So if your corner is like unsolvable corner case, then just go like that until you get a solvable corner case. So we start with OLL, then PLL, but how the heck are we gonna do the F2L? Well, don't worry. We're actually going to solve the corners of the F2L pairs next. So, just solve these corners. So now we have the corners of the F2L pairs, and we just need the, these four F2L edges. And we're gonna solve those using U-perms. So this needs to go over there. So I think that is this U-perm. Yep. This is flipped, so we can use the algorithm to unflip it from earlier. And now we have two F2L pieces left, and now this one. But if we use a U-perm here, this one gets out of place. So we're gonna do a setup move to move a garbage piece into place, and then do the U-perm, and then go back. Okay, so this is our last F2L pair. Um, so I'm gonna move it so that I can u permit, but then this piece will get messed up, so I put in garbage piece, u perm to solve it, undo, undo, and now we've solved OLL, PLL, and F2L. <laughs> so all we have left is to do the cross. I think there's like um, 20 algorithms if you want to learn one look cross, or you could just learn an algorithm that like orients the cross, and then permutes the cross. Nope. <laughs> okay, so that is OPFC method. It's just the reverse of CFOP, but really weird and bad. Okay, so the next one is reverse Roo, also known as Xaur method. So Xaur is just like the word Roo, but backwards, so. Oh no, I guess it'd be, wait, no, it's actually Xuor, cause it's X-U-O-R. So, XUOR method. The first step in XUOR method is we're going to do CMLL first. So it's just RU, but CMLL comes first. So we solve corners. And once you've solved the corners, you want to insert pieces that belong to your last six edges. So that's these four or these two. So I have this piece in place. I'm gonna put this LSE piece in place. Um, yellow green, sure, why not? Put that in. And yellow green, we'll put that in too. And now we need the other two white pieces to be opposite of each other in, in the bottom layer. So if we put that over there, we can use a U-perm to put this over there. 
and now these are opposite of each other in this layer. So now we solve last six edges from here, ignoring everything else. Solve last six edges. So these two need to orient, um, do LR, and a three cycle. You can have, I mean, parity, but you just do a D2 to fix that. All right, so we've done CMLL and LSE. Now we need to solve second block and then first block. But how we're gonna do this is algorithms. And we're going to actually solve the corners of first and second block. But how are we not going to mess up our last six edges when trying to solve the corners? Well, you can kind of mess around with commutators until like something happens. Okay, so we need to solve these two, but without wrecking these. Oh, we can do an F perm to swap these two and these two. Perfect, we did it. So we've solved CMLL and LSE, and now we just have the three edges of second block and the three edges of first block. And you can do this in two commutators if you're good at commutators. I am not that good at commutators. So sometimes it takes me more, and then we actually have to flip these two. And that's Xur method, uh, reverse Roo. Is it good? Probably not. Probably very terrible for speed cube solving. And the final method I have for you today is the reverse of the ZZ method. So we're actually gonna get more advanced than the um, Xur method and the OPFC method. We're going to solve basically ZBLL, which we can do by like block building. So it's more efficient than even ZBLL is. And once you've done ZBLL or just like solved a layer, then we need to build um, ZZ's, um, the blocks for ZZ, basically the same as the Roo minus the LSE. So we solve these blocks, except we don't have to care, uh, we don't have to worry about orientation at all. So the way I like to do this, is to do um, algorithm to solve the corners of the first block, and then just like put in the pieces of the first and second blocks, just like using U-perms and stuff, but they don't even have to be in the correct um, orientation. So this piece could just go over there with a U-perm, right? So that piece solves. Um, this piece can go over there with an, also a U-perm. So that's that block. And this piece can go over there with, you guessed it, a U-perm. So we've done last layer and ZZ first block. We don't have to worry about orientation at all. It literally does not matter. So now we do the same thing for the other block. So this piece is in the wrong place. So I'm gonna oops, move it over there. To put this piece there without wrecking anything else, we can do R, F, and then the U-perm, and then undo those moves. And now we just do one last U-perm to solve um, the first block. So now we've done last layer and we've put pieces in the first block and second block of ZZ. And now we need to solve the EO line. So if you have just one solved, find one that you can flip with it and then do that flipping algorithm. and that should solve your line. And once you have the line, the last step would be EO. So orient the edges. So you could have, in the worst case scenario, all six of these edges unoriented. That would be a shame. <laughs> but here I just have these two left, so I flip those. And that's the reverse of the ZZ method. Thank you for watching this video on reverse methods. None of these methods are good. You should not use them for speed solving. If you want to help me generate algorithms for um, doing CLL, but we have to preserve the LSE for the XUR method, then um, definitely do that. Send, send me a link in the comments below, and give me suggestions for more funny cubing videos I can do in the comments. Please like, don't forget to subscribe. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video.